All right, so glad you could give us a few moments of your time. Let's get you up to speed. Active weather. There's no shortage of it across the country. We've got snow coming to Vancouver, Victoria, Calgary. We've got snow squalls on the eastern shores of some of the big lakes. Winter storm coming to Atlantic Canada. And there is some light snow falling this morning in parts of southern Ontario, away from the snow belts. So let's go to Mark Robinson, our storm hunter. Uh, Mark, I see you're on the highway, on the QEW there, the Queen Elizabeth Way. Where are you? going. Yeah, I'm headed towards uh, Fort Erie uh, in that direction. But, you know, just traveling along the QEW, checking out how uh, how much snow is coming down and how clear it is. But definitely the QEW headed towards Toronto. Very, very busy. Uh, and I think it's a combination of both a lot of traffic, the usual rush hour and the snow right now. Yeah, sometimes a little snow can cause a lot of problems. So, Mark, why are you heading to Fort Erie? Well, I want to check out those squalls. Uh, you know, they they're, uh, they're they keep uh, coming off the lakes this year because we have those lakes still open. We haven't had that deep freeze to really put a, a layer of ice across the lake uh, or across any of the lakes. Uh, to be quite honest, I mean, it's so I'm expecting we could get snow squalls, you know, throughout the winter, maybe right into early spring. Now, Mark, oh my goodness, there's a, that, that's, that's kind of ominous. All right, so Mark, you were down in uh, Fort Erie away over the weekend. Uh, what did you experience when you were there? A lot of water. <laughs> it yes. was like, it was one of the colder times that I had because I, uh, I threw on the dry suit, wanted to check out uh, some of the spray and, and cetera coming off the waves uh, at Crystal Beach and Fort Erie. And I can tell you, Chris, it was so cold because usually if I'm in the wet in the dry suit I'm down in a hurricane it's cold but not that bad this this was totally different it was just icy 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 on top of that you had tremendous amounts of uh, snow and wind so just one of those winter days that uh, mm -hmm. I hope is giving way to spring even though I know it's just middle of January yeah a lot of freezing spray has been coating some of the structures along the shores of Lake Erie Lake Ontario. Mark Robinson, safe travels, my friend, and we'll connect with you later once you reach your destination. Uh, that light snow that Mark's driving through is ending this morning. Just poor timing because of the, you know, the morning commute. Uh, through the afternoon, Montreal and Quebec City got a bit of snow, but those snow squalls still hammering away places like Wawa, around Wyerton, Perry Sound, Muskoka region, and back towards the Buffalo, Fort Erie area, and perhaps even around the Kingston, Prince Edward County. So the next few days, dicey in some localized areas, the traditional snow belts, maybe a bit of light snow coming Thursday morning in southwestern Ontario. So less than three centimeters, unless you're in the aforementioned snow belts, then it's much different. Winter storm, we've got heavy rain coming to coastal Nova Scotia after initial snow. Strong winds will be moving across Newfoundland with blowing snow in central and northern New Brunswick. Heavy snow with even the risk of freezing rain come tonight in around the Fredericton Miramichi area. Extreme cold alerts are shrinking across the the west. We've got snow moving southwards. Calgary, about 15 centimeters of snow tonight through Wednesday, and it could be a white-knuckle commute in Metro Vancouver tomorrow with heavy snow.